Caesar, they came from the planet Angelo, man. Or the a planet uh, 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 Mala, Mala, was it Mala Kath? The planet Mala Kath. Just like, and, then, and the thing about polite, polite changes, uh, metal, with, uh, metal not with them, a uh, polite changes every couple of years, man. He don't believe that Dr. York shit no more, man. Matter of fact, he threw, he threw his master teacher under the bus. Because his master teacher got a, a, you know, part of the charges was child molestation. He was raping boys and girls from the age of four on up, all right? And then Polite at one, at one point was uh, defending his master teacher. Then he said, look, man, in one of them, the videos, don't tell me to bring it up. It was, it was a while back. He said on one of the videos, he said, look, man, he's locked up, you know, because of what he did, raping them little kids. So he admitted it that he did, that he believed that his master teacher did rape little kids, man. All right? And one guy got a video, and I can bring the video up, that he was talking about uh, um, polite, and he said that Dr. York used to flip this nigga, man. Now, I don't know how true that is, but there's one guy that actually said that, man. So, hey, the truth is going to come up. If you got flip polite, it's going to come out, man. Okay, if you got flip, maybe that's why you're mad at your master teacher. Okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, like I said, I'm not saying that that happened. I'm saying that the, the guy, I'm going to give you the video so you can bring it up. I'm going to give you the video so you can, you can put it up. I didn't say that. You didn't say that. None of us in here said that. We're not going to say nothing that we don't have any knowledge on. But I, I will say that I heard a video of a dude saying that you got flipped, man. All right? Whether he knows it or not, whether he made it up, I don't know. You'll see the video, okay? Anyway, getting back to the, the planet thing. Go ahead. This is the book of Proverbs twenty four twenty one. My son, fear thou the Lord and the king, and meddle not with them that are given to change. Yeah, polite always changing. He used to be, uh, he used to follow that E-Man Issa. And I remember most of them guys that sent that black consciousness back to Egypt, comedic shit, and one, uh, most of them, not all of them, most of them, were, were down with that E-Man Issa bullshit, man, with that Dr. York bullshit. Then it got played out, and then it got into that black consciousness shit. Some of y'all became Moors. All right? Um, oh, now they're having this thing on uh, this science, science, scientific lecture, this big thing on August 2nd. And um, basically when, when, when Polite was talking to you over the phone, conversing with you over the phone, he basically said, in a, in a roundabout way, he said all that stuff is bullshit, that it's all about science. That really there's no Amin Ra. Like I said, he didn't say that, but he put that in the air. That's how I inferred it, all right? He put that in the air that there's really no Allah, there's really no Yahweh, Yahweh Shai, there's really no, there's, there's no God. It's all about science. And then, because I guess he started reading science books, so now he changed up again. But he said, he made the statement to you. He said, but we should still read them books to see how our ancestors thought, you know? Because it was out of the, fig, the figment of the, our ancestors' imagination. They just made shit up. So, yeah, we can read it because our ancestors wrote it, man. So, basically, in a roundabout way, he didn't come straight out and say it, but in a roundabout way, he really don't believe in the Most High, man. He don't believe in the Most High. He don't believe in, in, in Allah. He don't believe in Amun Ra. That's why their whole big thing, they're saying, don't bring the spiritual books, bring science. Well, I can never go there. Why? Because I'm not a scientist, man. I would look like a damn fool. Now, based on the fact that you said you're coming to New York, your snake ass is coming to New York, I'm, I'm gathering that you're going to that thing. And I made a, sta a, a comment. I said, they're going to make you look like a fool on there because you ain't no scientist, man. You're trying to sound like you're intellectual and shit, but you, you really ain't, man. Okay, you're, you're, you're fluffy, man. You're fluffy, just like my man Polite. Okay, but he's a lot more fluffy than you, man. He's, he's good. Hey, Polite is good. Hey, Polite is good at what he does, man. Deceiving simple souls. He's, he's great at that, man. He's fantastic at that. He's numero uno 
when it comes to that bullshit, man. See that, but they ain't gonna work on real men of the most side. Ain't gonna work on them, man. Okay. See, he got you. He made you say that the angels came from another. In a roundabout way, he made you say that the angels only created the earth. Because the universe is already there. Because it had to be a universe to have a planet for angels to be on it. All right? So he made you look like a stupid ass, man. So now, now you're mad at me for pull, pulling your goddamn card, man. But then you're going to tell me where the scriptures went off. But you're going back to the angel thing on planet. Come on, man. Are you crazy? Are you out your fucking mind? He made you walk his walk. This is uh, Genesis chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning, the powers created the heaven. Okay, Salake. In the beginning, God created the heaven and the earth. Now, somebody should ask Nate that question right there. What does that mean? Because now you got to go to the Hebrew to understand that. Now you got to go to the Hebrew to understand that, man. Because the word there is not God singular. The word there is Allah Hayim. Allah mean, meaning power, judge. Loosely translated, mighty one, the angels. And the yum, the uh, suffix at the end of the word, Allah, is yum, which, me, which makes it plural. So read it, read it the way it's supposed to be read. read. Uh, Genesis 1 and 1. In the beginning, the powers created the heaven and the earth. Read it again in another way. Another way. Uh, in the beginning... Uh, Yahweh Shai and the angels created the heaven and the earth. Now, let's go to John 1 and 1. This is the book of St. John, chapter 1, verse 1. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with Explain the... Explain who the Word was. The Word is Yahweh Shai. You know, you have several scriptures. Yeah, yeah um, go to, um, what is that, Revelation nineteen eleven? is it? That's one. There, there's a few of them, but that's one of the main ones that uh, that comes to mind right now. Four, yeah, Khan. Yep, Psalms forty and seven, and uh, Hebrews ten and seven. You you got that? Um, Karab. No, nineteen eleven is it? Or is it? Or is it ten or or twelve? Where it speaks about the word, the Yahweh shall be in the word. Okay. okay um, this is Revelation. 19 and 13 and he was clothed with a vesture dipped in blood and his name is called the word of the most high yeah and when you read above that it's talking about Yahweh Shai Psalm 40 and 7 then said I lo I come in the volume of the book it is written of me right so that's that's Yahweh Shai telling you that he's the word and the one in Hebrews is uh, Hebrews 10 and 7 it says um then said I, Lo, I come in the volume of the book. It is written of me to do thy will, O Most High. So Yahweh Shai is the word. Now this is his spirit. You know, when you're speaking, you're speaking in the spirit of Yahweh Shai because these words make up his spirit. You know, so when it says, In the beginning was the word, meaning that Yahweh Shai was back there with the powers. Matter of fact, he was one of the Alahayams, one of the, the powers that created the universe, that created everything that you see. The planets, the stars, the sun, the moon, and everything else that you see around. Uh, if you can get um, Proverbs, the 8th chapter, towards the end. You know, so this is what it's speaking of. We, we're going all the way back to the beginning of creation. And this is the only book that does that. goes back to the beginning of the creation, before anything was, was made. And it doesn't go into full de detail, man. You know? Because um, the question now is from the black conscious co uh, community is... How old is the earth? You know? Then you got one guy saying 6,000. You got another guy saying 12,000. Uh, Sikari said uh, 12,000, which he was um, correct on that based upon the scripture of uh, Ezra. Um, but, then, but then you had uh, this guy, uh, Divine Gold Prospect. He said, I don't know. I don't know. So then, you know what, they, you know what them guys do? They play on... Hold, hold up, you guys are one, first of all, we're not one community, right? We don't agree, we don't agree, with, we have different breakdowns of things. Some of them guys believe the name of the most is this, some believe in that, some only believe in the Old Testament, some believe in the New and Old Testament, some believe in mermaids, 
Some believe in the book of Jasher and all these other books. Not saying that there's no such book as the book of Yasher, but the book of Yasher that they're using is not the right book. Esau put that together to get niggas, stupid niggas to buy that book to make more money. It was, all, it was a monetary thing, man. That's all that was. Okay? So that, that basically, Polite is going to use this against you that you actually said that the Most High made angels and put them on the planet. All right? And uh, that's one of the reasons.